Hello, this is Ed Thralls from Windsor Vineyards, and today I'm talking with Penny Gadcoster at the Rack and Riddle facility in Hopland, California. This is a state-of-the-art sparkling wine producing facility where we make our high-quality, award-winning California sparkling wine in the traditional method. Please watch as Penny walks us through this fascinating winemaking process. Well, making sparkling wine is a special process. Uh, it is one that not all facilities can do. It is very specialized. Uh, so one of the special things that we do here at Rack and Riddle is that we can produce a Method Champenoise sparkling wine. This does uh, take a lot more labor, it's a lot more time intensive, uh, because you're talking about a wine that takes anywhere from six months to it could be six or ten years. So first I want to talk about the importance of the base wine. Uh, the grapes that come in for base wines come in at much lower sugar. Even though these come in at a little lower sugar rate and don't have the maturity levels that um, higher bricks, still wine grapes come in as, uh, you're still looking for a flavor profile and, and that the fruit is clean. What makes it Method Champenoise is that you are doing a second fermentation in the bottle. So we're taking our base wines that have now been blended, uh, cleaned up, uh, a little bit of sugar added to them, a little bit of nutrient added to them, and then we're going to add yeast to the bottles so that they go through a second fermentation. Uh, this process is just like the first fermentation in that you're adding yeast, they eat up the sugar, they produce a little bit of alcohol. It takes about a month for that process to happen. Once that's done, then it does go into a resting stage uh, where the yeast just kind of break apart fall into little pieces and add yeasty notes actually to the wine. Uh, with time those yeasty notes can turn into nutty notes or uh, a little bit of sherry notes, uh, things like that that uh, are signs of an aged wine. Uh, once you have the wines all together and they have finished that second fermentation is now you have to get all of that yeast out of there. Um, and that process is called riddling. Uh, the old way to do it was in a little A-frame here and the bottles all went in and somebody went along and you've seen them in the movies and they just kind of riddle along. Uh, but now we have nice great big machines that each of the little cages holds about 576 bottles and those cages then move in increments. The final process in Method Champenoise is disgorging. And that process uh, involves actually freezing the neck it then goes out of the freezer into the next um, machine that actually then takes a little crown cap off, just like off a of beer bottle. From there, it goes into a doser, and that doser actually then adds a little bit of sugar to the sparkling wine just to kind of balance it out. Uh, from there, then it gets its uh, a cork, a wire hood, uh, its capsule, its label, and goes in the box and out it goes, uh, onto your table hopefully, and uh, for enjoying any time.